Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Chris and this is the Christopher Scott channel. And for all of my subscribers that come and watch my videos, thank you very, very much. And as you probably are aware or have seen, I have not uploaded a video in 30 days. I took some time to address some things happening in my personal life that needed my full undivided attention. And honestly, some people just didn't understand that or didn't care. And you know what it is what it is but I am back and I'm ready to put out content I've got a bunch of content filmed but I had to address that stuff I may address this and let you guys know what it was later on but right now just know that I'm okay I'm happy and I'm healthy but I had to take care of this stuff before I could focus back on YouTube again with that we're gonna get off into today's video by setting up an epic catfish pond and there are gonna be all kinds of catfish in here guys so make sure you stay tuned and make sure you follow along until the end with me coming back I would like to know drop comments down below a video ideas that you may have that you'd like to see coming up because we're gonna try to revamp the channel and get some content out that you guys will enjoy so make sure you drop some comments and let me know down below but with that let's go ahead and get into the video today we're gonna start with a pre clean plastic bin and we need to get some substrate I'm using some standard pea gravel as the substrate. You can buy this stuff in a 50 pound bag for about $5 at Home Depot. I like this stuff in these black bins because it gives some contrast and allows you to see down in them pretty well. Let's go ahead and get this thing filled up with water. Let's go ahead and boil some driftwood. <laughs> what do you think it was? Crawfish? This takes out all the impurities as well as takes out a lot of the tannins from this wood. It also helps it sink a little faster and now that we have it boiled and ready to go, we're going to drop it in here and let's go ahead and add some dechlorinator. For dechlorinator, we're going to be using some API stress coat. Well, now that this driftwood has soaked and is sunk down, so it is time to go ahead and get some filtration in here. So what we're gonna be using for filtration is one of these amazing sponge filters that you can pick up at freshwaterscrub.com. These come in 20 gallon, 10 to 20 gallon, and 50 to 60 gallon, as well as I have the stand-up kind as well, so go check that out. And in fact, you can also add an option to pick up a check valve as well as some airline hose with that. So use the code CATFISH for 10% off all of your orders. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this thing in there. And now granted, that thing is not cycled, so we're gonna to have to cycle that. And what we're gonna to do to cycle it is we're gonna actually take one of these sponges off, we're gonna throw it into this tub, and we're gonna take one of these sponges off, and we're gonna throw it into that tub. We're gonna come into this tub now, we're gonna grab one of these sponges that are already cycled off of here, and we are going to replace it with this uncycled sponge. Now that we have two sponges, we can go ahead and put these on here like this, and these are fully cycled. They have beneficial bacteria from the other setups, so they are ready to go, which means this thing is now officially ready to put fish in it. Wait a minute, Chris. No, it's not. We gotta get some aeration to this filter, or otherwise it's not gonna be filtering nothing. So let's get that done. We now have filtration happening in this setup. Not to mention, all of this driftwood is actually previously used in setup, so it is full of beneficial bacteria as well, but it's all is good. So now what we want to do is go ahead and plant. So let's start looking at some plants we want to put in here. So let's come right over here to this guppy breeding bin, which we will in fact be doing an update on very soon. And let's see what plants we can take out of here. So I'm thinking first things first, let's go and grab some of this beautiful anacharis. This stuff grows great, as well as it does so well in all kinds of conditions. Grab a few of these java ferns. All right, so now that we have some plants in here, let's go ahead and start figuring out where we're gonna put these. I kinda wanna just tuck these java ferns up into things, in between rocks and the driftwood. I'm gonna do the same thing with this anacharis. 
This stuff will totally take off in here without an issue. We can actually put some down into the substrate a little bit. Drop some right down in here as well. We have lots of places for these fish to hide. And let's go ahead and grab some of this beautiful frog bit. That in here. I think from a plant perspective, we're done. Let's take a look real quick. Well, now that we have plants in the setup, let's go ahead and get out of here and go pick up some fish. All right, guys. Well, we are back with our fish and we have them acclimating currently and we are cup acclimating these guys. We have a few different fish here. We're going to talk about each one of those independently and we will do that very soon. But right now, I want to go ahead and do some cup acclimation just to make sure that these guys are good to go. So we're going to take one cup of water out of here and we're going to put it in the tub. We're going to take one cup of water out of the tub and put it into here. We're gonna keep doing that over time. We have one bag that has fish in it right here that we're gonna go ahead and open up and start cup acclimating these as well. They should be fully temperature acclimated at this point. They've been sitting for some time in here, but I wanna go ahead and get some water into this guy as well. All right guys, well, let's start by looking at these catfish and seeing what we have. You see this guy right here? That is the bumblebee catfish. Such an amazing catfish. So let's start with the first species of catfish, and this is a ballot cat. And moving on, our next species of catfish is going to be a blue catfish. Man, he just jumped out and he's gone. Our next is going to be a four-line pictus catfish. How about a bamboo catfish? We have three of these guys. Finally, the big boy is Bumblebee Catfish. There he goes. Look at the size of that thing. Amazing. Looking for a hiding space. He will find that hiding space for sure. And we now have one more fish to go. And finally, little Johnny. Let's take a look at all these guys. All right, guys. Well, thank you so very much for coming along and checking out this new catfish pond. I really, really am grateful for each and every one of you. Make sure you drop a comment below and let me know what type of content you would like to see or let me know what you think about this new catfish pond. Also, make sure you check out freshwaterscrub.com. Use the code catfish for 10% off all your orders as well as find links to both Facebook and Instagram down below. Check us out over there. And with all of that, guys, once again, I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. I hope you guys had a a wonderful holiday season and with that we will see you next time.